Boost! Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks very much. You join me in my caravan because it was office day today. Um, I had to get loads of stuff done, so I've been going through invoices, invoicing people out, catching up, and paying people that I owe money to. Which was, I'll admit, some of them were well overdue, but it was just because I was struggling for money. But my, they understood it's the first that's happened. But we'll gloss over that. Cash flow's tight, but we're getting there. Um, so I was quite happy, content. Yeah, with that, I'd been for a run this morning, kept myself healthy. But that was my plan, to do that today, work late tonight, do a bit of content creating and editing. Uh, I'm actually going to get in the container and sort out stuff there, but I got a phone call from Blackwoods and they have asked me to do a job. So now we are jumping in the wagon trailer on the way to do something for them because you can't turn down work. Because I still got loads of work to do back here, but this will just have to wait. Uh, it was just to sort out and do a stock take and put more stuff on my website I've still got to collect the rest of the cleaning products Link is in the bio if you're interested in any of my stuff like my FOFB t-shirts, hats etc um, But no, I'm going to go do this job It's a 6 ton dumper, a 14 ton machine Haven't got the exact address yet uh, But I'll get ready, get my car then get all my gear And we'll get cracking, try and get back here uh, later on tonight, have nine off, and then go back out in the flat tomorrow, which is ditched right there. Right, luckily I've already packed my stay away bag. I what fell out there? Oh, my headphones. Uh, but I will not need it, hopefully, not tonight, unless something happens. Cross fingers, it doesn't. Everything, got my diary, got everything I need. Oh. Now I've started already to let her build up here and we'll do our walk around checks. Everything is sound because um, apart from the back ramps which got damaged on the last job which you would have seen in the previous video, we haven't fixed that, that bit of metal that's just been ripped up there. Um, but that's our problem. All the lights, all the tires, air pressure is all good. Um, I better put a chain on my dwangs and that but apart from that we should be ready to go. Right guys, that is ready. We have our water, our snacks, food, a big lovely flask of tea. A wee infringement there that we better keep in case we get pulled by the uh, traffic. Um, my mum's got me a box of scones, jam and clotted cream. Ah, oh, love it. Um, now I'm about three hours up to this site. Got to load myself, should only take about half an hour to load if everything's simple and easy enough to access. It's only a six tonner and a 14. Uh, back down, I have keys to the other side that's going to, it's going to be on site tomorrow um, But I'm going to deliver it tonight, then back to my yard, hitch into my flat uh, About 12 o'clock in the morning, night off, and then go for a load of logs in the morning uh, Well, at 9 o'clock, but that's the plan so far, but that can all change Well, half the work's done for us already, tracks are cleaned out, buckets are all allocated correctly. Uh, go stick the dumper on first, and then the 14. Right, that's sure already, chain selected. Now I am going to stick the dumper up first, which usually you'd stick it right up in the deck, but obviously because I try to avoid low bridges or branches, not only that, because I've got the space, I like to stick it halfway up the deck, lock it into place, so I'll the front wheels hard against the deck the back wheels up and we'll just use two chains instead of needing to stick it right up in there you need to use four This 
us in. Now that is fitted on there quite nicely, now I've kept it a wee bit further over to the near side so the tracks aren't overhanging on to the road where we're going to be passing traffic, uh, camper vans etc. So that's fine uh, and I have tucked the other bucket underneath and invested. We've got the arm bucket on there and so I'll do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dwang, a dwang, chain chain, four and two and that should do it. Oh, and remember to drop the bar as well or you will rip them lights off. Ready to go, nice and safely secure. Four chains, two chains, all strap. Bar dropped. Uh, wee bit down the road, have a break, and then continue on the journey, make a good time. Now I did pull over down the road to check my chains and dwangs, everything was fine and secure, all still nice and solid. I've just pulled over here at Wokoki Straits because I always do love this view and scenery and give myself a wee breather for a moment. I am very lucky where I live and these are the places I get to drive in the scenery and I'm not even that far down the road till I get to the central belt to go further south so I do kind of get the best of both worlds but I love it up where I live, uh, very lucky. This is one of the nicest bits, Loch Lochy Straits. But anyway, gonna crack on, uh, I'm only 25 minutes away from my destination, nobody's on site so I'll just, that's perfect, I'll suit myself up, hard stand and they said uh, just for a house site and chuck this all off. Right, I don't know exactly where I'm going here. He did give me directions, but I've always I double check before I go up this hill and get myself stuck. So I'm going to have a wee run up and have a look before I bottleneck myself and make an arse of it. Happy days. <sighs> Get them fit to figure out the half marathon last year. Eh, uh, aye, all clear. Move the Harris fence in and shoot right in. Don't try and drive through, mate. All right, crack on. Aye. <laughs> Easter Road. I, I did try not to block the road, but I was, if he literally waited, I shouted up there, he waited 20 seconds. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's not hard standing. I was a wee bit too quick there. This is all hard standing. But as I've turned in for the angle, I've just went to that soft bit. Now I don't know what to do. Where do I try and reverse her out? But I could end up ripping my bumper off. Or do I try and drive through it? I don't know if that's soft. That's really soft. I don't know what to do. We'll see how we get on. This, this is not good. I can really get this stuck here. Right, diff locks in, traction control off. Gonna go for crawler high. Ugh. Well, the good news is I got it out. The bad news is I got it stuck again. Ugh. Right, I've made a real rookie mistake here. We're all due it. So, what I did was I went to upload here. And as soon as I hit it, it started going soft here. So I planted the foot to try and get around onto this hard bit here. And this looked like solid stone over there, but it's just sank right down. So I, I can't move, I'm stuck. Um, so this is my plan. We can't go forward. So I'm going to offload it all here, move the stuff over there, and try and see if she'll reverse back without the weight on it. If she won't reverse back, I'm going to have to use the digger to pull myself out. This is just extended by night. Look how old that is. Oh man, my bumper got it and everything. Right, that's the 14 off. Now, I could leave the dumper on. 
to keep weight of the drive axle to push her forward with that lift her abs and bugger about. I think I was going to take the dumper off and just hope for the best. If not, we just got to pull her out by myself with no one else. Right, as we got the digger and dumper off, what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to try and see if she'll drive forward with the weight off her. I'm just walking and checking the ground like I should have done when I first came in, rookie mistake, properly, all round, to make sure it is solid enough. Now, if I do fall it around this way, it's fine. There's just literally random bits that your feet stick right through. We're going to stay away from this edge, because that is not going to hold. That's solid. Right. See how we go. And that is us out, left a bit of a mess, but I'm pretty sure, uh, I know the guy on site, he's a very nice guy, he'll sort it out. Uh, rookie mistake, double check, triple check the ground before you go in. Uh, don't just go with like a raging boat or you'll get yourself stuck like that, or even worse. But we admit our mistakes and we learn from them. Um, aye, but guys, I'm going to finish this video here because I'm going to get myself down the road and get my trailer washed and cleaned and check the unit underneath, make sure there's no damage. I can't hear any air leaks or see anything obvious, but we'll give it a further look. Um, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video and watching. Drop a comment and uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Fly, fly, boost!